everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jake with you. In this video, we are going to discuss the physical quantities and also their units. So, first of all, what is physical quantity? Physical quantity is physical characteristic that can be measured. It means we can represent this characteristic by using numbers. There are five very common base quantities. They are length, mass, time, temperature, and also electric current. When we represent them in numbers, it follows by units. And we have SI units. SI unit is used for consistency of measurement. What is SI units for the five base quantities? Let's have a look. So for length, it will be meter. You can write 100 meter, the whole word, or you can use the symbol 100 M. M represents meter. For mass, it will be kilogram or kg. Time will be second or the, uh, the symbol will be S. And temperature, Kelvin and K. Electric current, ampere or A. So I need you to pay attention to the symbol here. Note that for meters, kilogram and second, you write them in small letter. But, but when you need to write Kelvin or ampere, it will be big letter K and A. Okay? Sometimes when we write down uh, the SI unit for certain value, it becomes very big. For example, for length or distance between the sun and our planet Earth. If we, if we write it in meters, the numbers become very, very big. It can be very difficult to write and also very difficult to read. This is when we need prefix. What are some of the prefix that we have? Let's take a look at the first one. Okay, I will teach you how do we interpret this table. Giga means 10 to the power of 9, the standard form. 10 to the power of 9 means there are 9 zeros behind the 1. Okay, so we have 9 zeros here. And we can use the symbol capital G. Okay, so that's how we interpret this, this table, which you can actually also find it in your textbook in page 16. So we have Giga mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro, and also nano. Let's take a look at how we can convert this unit of the base quantity and also the use of prefix. For example, we have kilogram and gram. Kilo, if we go back to the uh, table here, you can see here, table is 10 to the power of 3 meanings 1000. There are three zeros behind the one. Okay, that's how we use the table. Okay, so for kilogram and gram, from kilogram, if you want to convert the unit to gram, we times 1000. But if we go backward, it will be divide 1000. For example, 1 1.9 kilogram, what is that in gram? You times 1000. Take 1.9 times 1,000, if you need help with the calculator, the answer is 1,900 gram. How about the other way around? If we have 8,200 gram, which is a very big number, we want to use the prefix K, kilogram, what do we do? Okay, so 8200 divided by 1000 if it is from the right hand side to the left hand side. Okay, and with the help of your calculator, you should be able to get 8.2 kilograms. How about length? Okay, so kilometer, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. You can use this table or this diagram to help you with the conversion. Let's take a look at a few examples. Okay, I know it's difficult, it's confusing if we just look at the diagram. Let's try and understand it with the example. First, what is 80 meter in centimeter? So, Take a look at this diagram. Where is the meter? It's over here. And centimeter is over here. There are two jumps. So meaning you need to take 80 times 10. Is it reached decimeter. It's not centimeter yet. So we have to do another one times another 10. Now we are at our destination, which is centimeter. And you will get 8,000 centimeter. 
How about centimeter to meter? This time we go backward and we need to get two steps as well. Okay, so 600 divide by 10, divide by another 10 and we will get 6 meter. One more. How about 95 millimeter go all the way to meter? How many steps do we need? That's right, 3. So 95 divided by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10 to finally reach meter. Okay, and the answer will be 0 0.095 meter. It's not that difficult, is it? How about time? We have hour, minutes, and seconds. So if you go from hour to seconds, we time 60 for each step. Going backward, we divide it by 60. Look at that example. 7 minutes, how many seconds? So it's only one step, so 7 times 60. Okay, and you will get the answer 420 seconds. How about 450 seconds? What is that in hour? Look at this diagram, we need two steps, okay? So 450 divided by 60 and divided by 60 for another time, you will have 0 0.125 hour. So it is very important that we use SI units. Why? Because inconsistency can cause a lot of problems and also confusion. Imagine if we need to know the height, okay, your height, and if one person use meter and the other person use feet and inches, it can be quite confusing. So we need to be consistent. Well, that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you in the next video, okay? Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.